and how is it going everyone? It is Skullzy here, with the latest and the greatest gaming news. I have been talking a lot about Starfield lately, everything from potential announcements happening soon to possible teases of the actual release date, and today will be no different because there is yet another possible piece of evidence suggesting that Starfield may be coming much sooner than we might think. And this information stems from a pretty credible source, the ESRB, the board that actually assigns the ratings to video games for those that don't already know. They decide if a game is E for everyone, T for teen, and so on. But before I go any further, I want to be very clear that even though what I'm about to say stems from a legit confirmable situation and source, anything regarding the potential release date of Starfield should always be considered speculation, as this information doesn't come direct from Bethesda Game Studios. But it definitely lends some pretty serious credibility to the fact that Starfield could actually end up being released in 2020, which would be a huge surprise to me personally, because as I've been saying in my previous videos, I don't expect Starfield to release until 2021. Now, as of a few days ago, the official website for Starfield went through a minor change with some pretty substantial meaning, one that many in the community missed, myself included, until it was brought up on my Discord server. If you scroll down and check out the lower right-hand corner down here on the official Starfield website, you can see that the ESRB is officially reviewing Starfield in order to assign it a rating. RP, or rating pending, means exactly that, and in order for a game to get a rating from the ESRB, it has to be in a finished, basically ready to ship state. And seeing how Starfield was updated to rating pending status within the last few days, that means that Starfield is basically finished and almost ready to be released. Or at least that is what it would seem like. It seems like an almost too good to be true situation, but for a game in order to get a rating or get reviewed, it has to essentially be a finished product. That's just how the rules and regulations are. I know, I know, this probably comes as a big surprise to many of you, myself included because I originally believed that the target release date for Starfield was indeed 2020. However, due to COVID and other things, I was almost certain that the release date got pushed back to 2021. Of course, that could still be the case, because as I said in the beginning of the video, even though the rules and regulations regarding the ESRB are clear and stern, requiring a game to be a finished product for it to get reviewed by the ratings board, any speculation regarding the potential release date of Starfield should always be considered speculation, including anything in this video. Video. Although I am much more confident now that a 2020 release date for Starfield is indeed a very likely possibility. And on top of all this, the fact that the game is in rating pending status means that the chances are even higher for a major Starfield announcement to happen very soon. Some people believe Starfield could very well be announced the day after I upload this video, as the Summer Games Fest is teasing the announcement of a new major game on May 12th. And to be honest, the timing does seem to add up for Starfield to be basically finished assuming it wasn't affected by the stay-at-home orders, as Starfield is at this point nearly entering its fifth year of development based upon what Todd Howard said last year. Remember though, this is all speculation until we hear direct from Bethesda Game Studios. I gotta be honest here, the hype is definitely assuming direct control. As always, what I want to know is what do you think about all of this? Does this discovery change your opinion about the release date of Starfield? Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and if your comment wins the internet and make it featured in a future video. If you like the content, give the video a thumbs up, and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you can stay up to date with the latest gaming news, and check for links down in the description below for the official Skullzy channel Discord server, Skullzy merchandise, and links for Patreon and to be an exclusive channel member here on YouTube. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when Starfield gets raided. It just works. That, that was, that was a stupid joke. That was so stupid.
just works. <laughs> 